Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. You may have heard of the company before, yes they are selling my merch. Um, the links for that is down in the description below, feel free to go check it out after watching this video. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I'll do, so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Gillingham versus Rochdale. Um, Gillingham nil nil away to Itchridge Town. Um, great point for uh, Gillingham. Um, you know, fair play for Gillingham to go get in that point. Um, Rochdale lost three two at home to Fleetwood. Um, how? Probably all of those three points are going to be for Gillingham um, come the end of the season. Obviously, we've got to all have to wait and see. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Gillingham win. My next one is at Cricket Stanley versus Burton Albion. Burton Albion beating Trevia 4 2 at home. At Cricket Stanley beating Blackpool 1-0 away from home. So both of these teams are going in with a victory for the previous weekend. Um, African study has woken up over the past couple of months, um, which will go back and forth win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 African Stanley win. My next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Oxford United. Oxford United, John. Just want to make sure I've got that right. Um, AFC Wimbledon beat Bristol Rovers 3-2 away from home. Um, you know, great three points for Wimbledon. Oxford United beating Lincoln 1-0 at home. Um, that game between Oxford, um, I've had some great three points for Oxford. And Oxford are currently setting up in third with 36 points. Just one point off the running, uh, automatic promotion um, to Ittridge. Um Going forward for Oxford, I know they've got a lot of injuries at this moment in time. They're coming up against Wimbledon who are in 18th. And this sort of game is a game that a lot of people go, oh, we're expected to win. And the underdogs, you know, turn it over. Um... Going forward, um, I'm going to predict Wimbledon. Oh, actually, I'm going to predict a draw, and I'm going to predict a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton versus Shrewsbury. Bolton nil-nil away to Sunderland. I'll talk more about them in a minute. Um, Shrewsbury losing two-one at home to Wolfram. I think that's a great point for Bolton. Bolton have got, you know, quite a few games in hand over their relegation candidates who are going up against for relegation. And um, they've got four games in hand over South End. They've got three over MK Dons. They've got two over Tramia. And they've got three up against uh, Watchdale and Wimbledon. So, you know, a few games in hand over Bolton. But Bolton are only on currently on six points. So, them games in hand are really going to make the difference for them this season. Um, Shrews were going forward. Um, you know, sitting in 11, 31 points. I'm going to predict Bolton to win this game. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Bolton win. My next one is Doncaster versus Sunderland. Um, Sunderland drawing 0-0 at home to Bolton. Um, disappointing day for Sunderland, if I'm all honest. Uh, Doncaster Rovers beating Peterborough 3-0 away from home. Um, great three points for Doncaster. Um, you know, going forward, how big a leap is that going to be for Doncaster? Currently sitting in 14th with 28 points. Um, but Sunderland are a team that has really disappointed me this season. And going forward for Sunderland fans, please feel free. I know it's a hard question. Please feel free only if you want to answer it. Um, where do you think you'd be in 10 years' time? You know when you don't think at school where you're like, 
I want my life to be rested. Tell me, tell me where you think your team's going to be in 10 years' time. Because I really am interested to know. Because since some of them's gone down, down into League One, um, they have really been disappointed, even from a neutral perspective point of view. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 now Doncaster win. My next one is Fleetwood versus Bristol Rovers. Um, Fleetwood beaten Rochdale 3-2 away from home. Uh, Bristol Rovers losing 2-1 at home against AFC Wimbledon. Um, as far as this game goes, I mean, you've got Bristol Rovers who are currently in sixth, and you've got um, Fleetwood who are currently in seventh. Just a point between the two teams. Change uh, table change again. This could be as far as it's going forward. I'll go for a draw, and I'll go for a two-two scoreline for that one. My next one is Lincoln versus Itchridge. Um, Lincoln losing one nil, uh, yeah, losing one nil away from home to Oxford. Itchridge nil nil um, at home to Gillingham. Disappointing day for Itchridge. A game that I really needed to win to get the pressure on the top. Um, as Wicker Wonder is doing a great job of forty three points. Um, and I feel, as I said, slightly disappointed from an Itchridge Town perspective. But you're the real Itchridge fans. Please tell me how you feel down below. Um, going up against an OK Lincoln team. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Itchridge Town win. My next one is MK Dons versus Portsmouth. Um, Portsmouth beating Wickham Wanderers 2-0 at home. Great three points for Portsmouth. Um, MK Dons 2-2 uh, away to South End. Um, I'll probably take... Yeah, it's got to be a good point for MK Dons. You know what I mean? Yeah, both teams are in a relegation zone from that MK Dons South End perspective, but you're away from home. So, you know, it's much harder to pick up three points on the road. Um, going forward to this fixture, I'll go for a 3-1 Portsmouth win. My next one is Rotherham versus Peterborough. Um, you know, Rotherham beating Shrewsbury Town 2-1 away from home. Peterborough losing 3-0 at home to Doncaster. Yet again, going forward, you've got Rotherham in 5th, you've got Peterborough in 4th. This game is a, a playoff game. Going forward, I'll go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramiel versus Blackpool. Um, Blackpool losing 1-0 at home to... Uh, Accra and Stanley. Um, Tramia losing 4 2 away from home to Burton Albion. Yet again, going forward with Blackpool. I remember when Blackpool used to be in the Premier League, that's how old I am. Um, going playing up against Tramia. I much need a three points <coughs> for Blackpool if they're going to go into the playoffs. Um, I'm going to back them to do so, and I'm going to back them for a 1 0 Blackpool win for that one. My last one for this weekend is Wickham Wanderers versus Coventry. Um, let's go talk about the results first. Wickham losing 2 0 away to Portsmouth. Coventry, I don't think, played for whatever reason. Um, but Wickham going to need to win this game to get the pressure on teams below. Um, I think this game for Coventry will just be a confidence build-up, but yet can still put them into playoffs come the end of the season. Um, but do I think that uh, that Wickham is going to have two poor games on the bounce 
I think so. I think Coventry might just do this one and I'll go for a 2 1 Coventry City whip. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.